Hi Dolma, hi Dennis, hi Belgian community, it's Mark Gould here in Sydney. I wish I could be there with you on the occasion of this very, very important commemoration. Thank you very much for, for getting together and remembering this event. One of the mountain climbers involved in this story, Luis Benitez from America, says in the film, this is a story that must be told and retold and retold. And getting together tonight for this commemoration is exactly what you're doing. I think it's a very important thing to do. When Dolma left Tibet, I'm sure she had no idea of all of the trials and tribulations that she would face, the hardships, and I'm sure she had no idea that she would be shot at and that her best friend would be murdered. She somehow come through this with a great deal of courage and grown from when I first met her, a shy 16-year-old schoolgirl, into a very, very lovely young woman who is creating a new life for herself in Europe. Every day when I think about this film and, and about my friendships with Dolma and Jam Yang and Lob Seng Chundan, I feel humbled, absolutely humbled, by the openness and honesty with which they took me into their lives and told me their story at great risk. A, you know, a strange filmmaker wanders in and says, hey, I want to tell you a story. And, and these guys opened their hearts to me, enabling myself and my colleagues to make a film called Tibet Murder in the Snow, which has been seen all over the world by millions and millions and millions of people through repeat screenings. This was only possible through Dolma's honesty and openness. Similarly, Jonathan Green's book, Murder in the High Himalaya, has been widely read. This story has gone everywhere. When we look at something like the murder of Kelsang Namso, I am reminded of how nations commemorate their war dead. You know, in a way, Kelsang Namso is like the fallen from a war. What's different about this war is that Tibet chooses to fight their oppressors with strategies of peace and non-violence. This is a paradigm that the world doesn't understand and it's a paradigm that the world, that the Dalai Lama continues to promote around the world in his great work. And I think this is one of the reasons why Tibetans and the plight of Tibetans touch us so deeply. I'm really proud that Dolm has grown into such a wonderful young person. I wish you a long life, a happy life, Dolma. Uh, I'm really, you have enriched my life. I hope it's not too long before I can see you or, or you can see me wherever we meet. I'm sure we will, it'll be a happy occasion when we next see each other. So lots of love and thanks, th thanks for giving me this opportunity to say, say hello from Sydney. So lots of love, guys.